And we should be live on the internet, streaming to you from Ohio, where the snow has finally fallen. I'm George, and this is... Jonathan. What? What do you mean, what? What do you always say? Oh, well, you can uh, follow me on J.P.A. Or, uh, was it Twitter? Or uh, Twitch? Okay. So how's uh, uh, how's work going? Uh, which one? <laughs> the one you actually like going to. Uh, that one's going good. It's going pretty well. Uh, no issues or anything. I've been enjoying it I'm pretty slow lately. But other than that, uh, it's all right. Well, what happened last week? Remember uh, with the power? Oh, the power outage with the fire department and all that showing up because the power went out. Yeah, isn't that crazy? The the power goes out and the and the uh, fire trucks show up. Yeah, yeah, and the power is out um, after that for I think an hour and about thirty minutes before. Um, let's see, who was it? Ohio Edison, I think it is. Probably. They had uh, for uh, four twenty two. Before they even got to the uh, area that, I guess, a blown transformer or something. But before they got to that, it took them like an hour or 30 minutes ago to get there. That's crazy. So before they, they can even get to it. Yeah, a lot of people lost power that day. Very windy and everything. So did you have, did you have to, uh, what was the roads like? What was it, about 3 o'clock when you get off in the morning? 3.30. 3.30. Or the roads like? Uh, when yesterday? Yeah, like well, last night. This last night, uh, it yeah. was terrible, terrible. Well, I mean, this morning, this yeah. morning was terrible. It was really, really terrible. They had a few trucks out there uh, doing their thing, putting salt and stuff down, but they were they were still bad. It took me an extra ten minutes to get home because I had to, uh, of course, take my time. Any, uh, you didn't see any accidents or anything along the way, right? No, no, but we did see an accident today. Well, not really seen one, but uh, we, you know, it was pretty much an accident. We can see the car, you no, know, was messed up. Uh, lady ran the stop sign, hit the other car on the side, Ooh. and um, all of their airbags deployed. Oh, there's and like took a. Uh, it took Niles' finest uh, 30 minutes to get there. <laughs> well, uh, it does take a little while, depending on where it's at or where they're at, you know. Yeah, it was it was at the uh, the, uh, the Dollar Tree on uh, right there at the Eastwood Mall complex. Oh, right on uh, 422. Yep, inner station. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, next to Best Buy. Yep. Yep. Inner station's not that far at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about, uh, well, depends on which side of Niles they were coming from. Nah, man, if someone could have came from the station. It was two, it was two older people. Uh, it was, it was, it could have been, it could have been way worse, and they just took their sweet time. Yeah. They didn't, she, she didn't, even, the lady, she, it got hit on her side. She didn't even want an ambulance or anything. What? Even though the airbag tore her, like, messed her up, and she didn't, she said, no, I don't want no ambulance. Because actually, I know her husband was out there. And everything asked was they all right? And he was like, yeah. No, he was gone. Lady ran the stop sign. She even admitted running the stop sign. She didn't you know, didn't stop. She was distracted or something. I think she probably was on her phone and tore them out right on the side. Oh. It was really bad. Like, all their, i never seen a car with, like, every uh, single area of the car has an airbag. And that whole thing was like, it was like a... It's like watching uh, like a balloon like explode in someone's car. It's just some <laughs> airbags everywhere. And the guy said, "Everybody hit him in his chest, like messed his chest." So I was like, "You guys gonna call the ambulance?" He's like, "No, no, we ain't gonna call the ambulance. We're just waiting for the, the police department to come." He's just, like, "Yeah, we've been called him." I was like, "Wow, really?" It's like you could have like someone could have been seriously hurt, and they want to take their sweet time. Well, maybe it was because no one was seriously hurt. Maybe that's they don't what know they did. That. Yeah. Accident. Like you, you need to like. Hurry up, because you have no idea what you're, what's, what's going on. That's true. I am just exhausted. I bet. 
Oh. Well, you know how much uh, stuff was left at the store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't really... It didn't look like much, like like walking around seeing, but like the actual like tear down and stuff. I know it was a lot of work. Oh my, because uh, well, they th- there were people that came took all the light line, so we didn't have to do that. Fortunately, <clears throat> then uh, everything in the back, uh, you know, we took everything that was that. in the front of the store, brought it back to the to the warehouse. Yeah, and then you know sorting through all that. And then we broke down all the registers. Every last one. Every last one of them. That 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 all went to recycling. 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 So. Oh, they were going to another store. No, that's what we thought too. And then uh, Katora got another list that said, uh, "No, send them for recycling." Wow. All right. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. So. Uh, the procedure, one of the it's actually called end of life. You, and uh, Trish ran it, runs it on the register, and that wipes out everything on it. But the thing is, yeah. is the hard drives and stuff yeah. are hard to find. So you would think they'd, yeah. uh, you know, give those to, you know, like another store or something. But no, they just trash them, whatever. Yeah, that, that's a shocker. All right, they want to keep all those all this other unnecessary stuff. They could have sold me the desk, man. Would have had me a desk by now. But, but no, we, let's take the desk. Let's get rid of everything else. Stupid. What what value really does the desk hold? And like, you have the computers and the monitors and stuff that holds a lot more value than a, a stupid desk that you want to keep. Well, that was the thing that went to Canton. Still, I'm just saying, like. I know what you're saying. You have way more valuable stuff. It costs way more money, but you want a desk. You know, I'm pretty sure they have a decent amount already. But no, no, let's take, let's, we want the desk. We want the metal and, and wood. We don't care about the hardware and the computers, the technology. We don't want that stuff. We want the metal and wood. We want the wood and the metal. That's what we want. Well, I wasn't able to save all of them, but uh, can you guess where some of them went? Yeah, yeah, I can see. Some of the some of the technology went. I yeah, bought them, and and guess what? If I hadn't bought them, they were going to the same recycling place. Yep, Before, good old recycle. Yeah, unfortunately, they were allowed to sell them to me. Because uh, some stores they weren't. Oh. Ah. This one here. Oh, okay, yeah. How much are you gonna pay for that one? Uh, I didn't. Mr. Williams did. Williams. Williams, yeah. Not senior, junior. Oh, what, what you doing to it for him? I I put uh, ten on it. Oh, okay. Clean it all up. Took uh, uh, took the clean up the processor. These things have never been serviced the whole time we've been using them. Uh huh. So you know you have you have the processor and you put the thermal paste on, right? Yeah. Thermal paste was like a glue. I mean, it was just uh, it was so dried out. It was just a solid piece. It wasn't even paste anymore. Wow. Well, yeah, and then uh, some of them were pretty dirty on the inside. Depends on where where they were in the store. They got an i3 processor, and they, they ran, like, super slow. Like, they had, had, like, Windows XP or Windows 2000. Well, it's because they were just, they had them um, treated like uh, terminals. Yeah. They for, didn't, people who didn't, for people who didn't have to deal with Windows XP or, or, or uh, Windows 2000, um, at the time it was the best thing going. So, but look back at it now, it, it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad. As compared to the way they are now, but, uh, also windows 98 before windows 2000 well, windows. One, it, it's weird. Cause like windows 98 was a, a good operating system. It was, it was good for its time. 
And then they came out with 2000. That was a nightmare. Then, yeah. Then they came out with XP, and that was really good. Yeah, some people even still use it today. And then they came out with Vista, and that was a nightmare. It's like every other... Why are you stopping it? Every other time they release an operating system, it's like bad, good, bad, good, bad, good. Yeah, every other one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he want, he he wanted it, so he, he bought it. And then uh, okay. I uh, he he I said, you want me to put 10 on it? Or, you know, are you going to do it? You want me to do it? He goes, no, you, you I don't have it. You go ahead and do it. You know what you're doing. Go ahead and do it. So I did. And the only thing he, they'll have to, I did one for Katora and one for Joel too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they bought one, a piece. And then uh, all I did was I put 10 on it, made sure it was uh, activated. Actually, never even asked me for a key, which was surprising. <laughs> but it didn't ask me for a key, but it went straight to the agreement. So it obviously found the uh, Windows 7 key and knew it was valid. So went ahead and upgraded to Windows 10. Now, the only point I took them to is, like, it, it's the same point when you get a brand new computer. You have to tell it, you know, you're in the United States, you want to speak English, you know, that, you know, that, that, you know, it's it's set up. It's just that it has to do the rest of its thing. Yeah. And that way they can put their personal information on it and then it'll be good to go for them. But uh, I did uh, two of them yesterday and then I did this one today and then uh, I'm going to bring it, bring it in tomorrow. And tomorrow is our last day that we will be in the building. Really? Uh, how much do you even get done? Oh, um, the only thing that's left in the warehouse is the stuff that people need to pick up. And the thing that, that sets me off is, uh, you know, they we told these people, look, this is, uh, you know, this is going to be our last day. You need to come in here and get this stuff out of here by Friday, by tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, we've been calling and calling and leaving messages. Hey, come get your shit. Hey, come get your stuff. Come get your stuff. Hey, when are you going to fucking come get your shit? And it's like they don't care. I don't get it. What do uh, what, what they picking up? Oh, just everything that they were supposed to have bought. Anything valuable? Well, like the... Um, what the heck are uh, the uh, fixtures? Okay, they had to wait until the store to close to get them. No, but they're waiting. But we're waiting on them to come get them. They've had all week to come get it. And you called them, and y'all called them, and everything else. Oh, we've called. I mean, it's just like, come on, come get your stuff. We're gonna hold your hand now. Come get your stuff. And they already paid for their stuff, right? Yeah. Yes, they have. So, uh, you know, it's bought and paid for, so whatever. Hey, man, it's, it's their loss if they don't come get it. And they can't uh, they can't call anyone. Man. <laughs> they can't call the store and, uh, like, complain about it. Oh, no. Because no one's going to be there. No, they can't call the store. No one's going to be there. Like, they can try to come, uh, then, like, doors are going to be shows. And, oh, what happened? I, I, I bought some stuff here. Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, no, they can't call the store. Not now. They can't. They can't just show up either. Yeah, they can't. Well, they can just show up. Well, not after, not after uh, tomorrow. They well, can't. yeah. Well, we told them. Uh, we called them yesterday, Wednesday, and told them, "Hey, you know, you all need to come get this stuff. Uh, we're going to be open, you know, till four thirty, you know, Thursday and Friday." Friday's the last day. Don't try calling back because George just took the last phone and tossed it into the recycle bin. Good. 
Yeah. Get out of here with those phones anyway. I, that's why I say they can't call because, well, they can call and none of the phones are going to ring because there's no phones. Well, I wish I was there to uh, to put in toss those things. I know I I, I deserve a lick or two. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got put in one big, huge box. I would enjoy chucking it in there. Uh, well, I, uh, what's it? one of the guys actually was thinking that they were supposed to go to another store, so he actually took the time and bubble wrapped most of them. Oh, I would have dropped them by, by accident. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoops, there's another one. Oh, 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 damn it, I dropped another one. Let me... Let me... <laughs> Let me try it again. After all this pain and suffering, I'm going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was uh, it was pretty amazing because, I mean, there's more than one big box that we, we needed for this stuff to, you know, everything went in the box and then goes out to recycling. But, yeah. uh, oh, just every darn thing that went in that thing and we did that with two big boxes um some of the the one server one server went in uh the other two servers went back to ibm um uh so they don't go to if they go to recycling we don't send it uh, i guess ibm does or whatever and then uh just uh, some of the other stuff goes to this warehouse or that warehouse, all within the company. And it's like, uh, eh. after the news I've been kind of hearing, I know you have too. Uh, uh, with, uh, with the, uh, uh, the the uh, financial situation with the company. And I'm just going to pop this up on the screen here. The, the Sears prepares for possible liquidation as Chandler, Chairman Edward Lambert's bid fails. Now, this was from a couple days ago. This was from the 7th. He did up his bid from $4.4 billion to uh, an even $5 billion now. That he wants to pay for the company. To do what? To drag it down more? Uh, that's what we pretty much figured out. I, I thought I had the thought the thought I had about it was that if he owns the outright buys the company and now owns it, they can't go back and investigate him for all the shady crap that he was pulling. You know, the the stuff that if you or I ever did you know, they wouldn't have just walked us out of the store. They'd have walked us, they'd had the cops walk us out of the store, you know, off of our way to jail. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just surprised why he acts like he, he cares so much. Like when we all know he really, like, don't. Yeah, there's one thing that man cares about. Money, money, money. Why well, ain't making much of that? Well, man, you know, I bet you he's willing to spend some of it to keep his uh, his hiney from getting raped from Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I say I say Bubba. Oh, uh, because uh, uh, I mean, I just all the shady stuff you do and. It was like, you know, I I get it. You're the owner and the CEO, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But to the same token, I mean, as this company is shrinking, you're getting the assets. And you're yeah. not, I mean, you're, you're giving, you're telling the company, this is the way I want this company run. And then the next breath, is, you know, is, oh, by the way, we're going to shut down these stores and I'm going to take the property because you had to borrow money from me that you owe me and so now the stores that actually owned their real estate they have to pay rent which if they were profitable before they might not be now since they're not profitable now we'll shut down that store because the real estate is more valuable than having that store there yeah 
<clears throat> think so. It's Speaking just of... talk into the mic. I say, <clears throat> hold on. I, I kept moving away from me. I don't know why. No, I'm you kept backing up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, he he don't know what he's doing at all. Um, he's been at this for uh, a while. We've been at this for a while now, man. And about ten years. How how many? I only been there for two and a half years, and I already seen some of the dumb decisions he was making. And just to see what I seen in a short amount of time, and I already knew like it was doomed in the first place. Uh, yeah, and and he wasn't. Uh, and he, uh, like I said, as the company shrank, he was getting it. ESL Investors, his company is a nearly nine billion dollar company where do you think nine that nine billion dollars came from came from sears assets nope 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 it came from him alone yeah okay and like i said you got a store that's that's making money now they have to pay rent because you know sears couldn't pay back the loan that that he gave Sears, so now they have to pay rent. Now they're not profitable, so now we're going to shut down the store. Big surprise. Yep, and there's more to come. More to come. Well, and I mean, if you've watched YouTube, and, and there's lots of, of guys I've been watching lately, uh, which is uh, like dying malls. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're tough to watch. Oh, like the, what is it, the Rolling Acres Mall in Akron? Yeah. Oh, my God, that building needs to come down. Someone did one of that? Huh? Someone did uh, did a video of that? Oh, God, yeah. And I think it was, like, from 2017, so the mall's still standing. You know, it might not be, as far as I know, it's still standing today. But that thing is just utterly and completely gutted. It's I'd venture to say it's 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 a hazard. And that building just needs to come down. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to look that video up and see. Oh, it's, 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 uh, oh. Uh, it, it's like, you know, um, notice the fresh air breezing through the center of the hall. That's because there's a hole in the ceiling where all the air is coming in and the rain and everything else. Snow. Yeah, I gotta see it. I... Oh, it's it it's it ain't it is not pretty. It is not pretty. Uh, but a lot of times these guys would you know go into the history of the mall, you know whatever mall they're talking about. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, it's usually a case like Sears was one of the last stores to leave, which I get it, but you know you got to make money. You can't keep a dead mall with a dying store in it, with a dead store in it, you know. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, we see a lot of a lot of malls going through that now, going through uh, pretty much that phase. Uh, like um, the Sutherland Park Mall is, I I think they're they might be the next one to um, to be on that list. You mean the the mall itself? Yeah, just the mall itself, not the stores or anything, just the mall itself. Well, I, if the mall goes, then the stores go with it. I know, but this, I'm not saying it's going to be the store's fault. It's oh, fault. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, just, just the way things have been going in the past years with uh, with the this this constantly mo- losing stores from that mall and don't really have anything to fill it. I, I think they're 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 close. I'm wondering what they're going to put in uh, into this into our store. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, some I, I hear a few people saying it's going to be another um, uh, what kind of store was it? Our store. Um, I can't think of the word right now. But another uh, appliance and hardware store. That's where some people are saying. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure what it's actually going to be. Hope it's going to be something useful. I hope it's not another appliance or hardware store because we already, we already have those. We have, uh, Home Depot loads. Um, 
Best Buy and Menards. Yeah, Best Buy and Menards. We don't we don't need another one. Yeah. Well, uh, you know how we were always complaining. We don't have enough room. We didn't. You know, we need more room. We need more room. We need more room. You know, because they send us stuff, and we haven't gotten rid of the other stuff yet. Yeah. Oh God! How the hell did I, I? I felt oh, you know, when I'm I'm walking through the place and just everything is just bare wall and empty. It's like how did we not have enough room for everything we had? I don't know. Um, the they was always is... saying we didn't have room for stuff. Did we? And then you see, you see, um, like a lot of the empty space we didn't even use for anything. Well, um, there really wasn't that much that did not have something in its place. I, I mean, on the sales floor though, too, specifically. Yeah, like like we had a few things um, that we could have turned into something, like the um, the old um, film film department. We could we could have did something with that. Oh, the portrait studio. That would, yeah, that would cost money, man. I know, but <laughs> if, if if Mr. Grandpa Eddie would have put money into our our stuff to we could have done something with it and we could have been making a little bit more money but no 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 he didn't want to do anything to the floors he didn't want to add anything to the light fixtures he didn't want no upgrades no nothing whatever man yeah well i mean where we were in appliances you know we just have those that one big section and i mean i look at it it's empty and i'm like how did we not fit everything into this space it's huge i mean the, the whole store is huge and I, and, I, and then i was thinking people used to come in here and say there's nothing in this store really <laughs> take a look at it empty and then tell me how there's nothing in this store yeah that was funny yeah like really you uh you want to say that uh the store there's nothing in this store hey this store is full of stuff maybe not what you're looking for but it is full of stuff Nope, nope. We don't have this. We don't have that. I uh, good old good old times. Customers always said we ain't got this and that. And sometimes we did have stuff, and they didn't even look. Be right there. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't see it. Yeah, there's only ten of them. Ten different <laughs> ones, and uh, a bunch a bunch of them right below it and around it. But I didn't see it. You're right. I, I don't disagree at all. Yeah, but soon as soon as we don't sell that product anymore, guess what they all start asking for? This is why you're going out of business. Because we have it. Because yeah. we, we will have products and everything for a while. Nobody will want it at all. No one will want it. No one will ask about it. No one will say anything. Or they just walk right past it and brush it off. Then as soon as we get rid of it. Oh, yeah, I come in for this item that no one ever paid attention to for, like, a year. Oh, uh, well, this is why you're going out of business. Like, dude, it's been here for a whole, like, year. You No one looked at it. You, now you want to say something about it? Oh, It's gone. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, this is why you're going out of business, because it's gone now. Yeah, that would just, like, you know, go jump in a lake. Preferably the closest one, which is like, like I'm serious. Like I'm serious. How how many items or uh, items or things do we have that sit there for the longest time, and then as soon as we get rid of them, someone got uh, someone acts about it. Oh, there's more times than I can count. Well, like uh, um, trash compactors. How many? That never sold. They never sold. But guess what? Towards the end. I had about two, three people after the last one was gone, and that was one of the last things to go. Okay? And they were like, uh, you don't have any trash compactors? We had two and one new in a box, but now they're gone. You probably came through here, looked at it being three or four hundred dollars. And thought, I'll wait till it gets cheaper. Well, guess what? Somebody was willing to pay that price. Yeah, yeah. Just like um, I, when I stopped by a few times, and then um, when like everything was pretty much already gone, and then uh, when, we, when we had a couple people come in and say, oh, where's, it, where's your appliances at? They're gone. Oh, oh, um, do you got any more? No. 
I was waiting for the price to go down a little bit more. Well, hey, man, like, I don't know what to tell you. We told you to get it when we got when it was there. But no, you want to wait, try to wait for the price to go down more. We already told you it wasn't going to budge. But nope, you want to wait and try to see. Now, hey, it's not our fault now. Yeah. I mean, Gone. I, you'd have paid just a little bit more. It'd have been sitting in your house, but somebody was willing to pay the price. Now it's sitting in theirs. But here's the really funny thing, is people would buy this stuff more expensive than when it was like Labor Day sale. And people were coming in Labor Day going, oh, God, the price is too high. It's like, it ain't going to go no cheaper, it, you know. And then we're closing and they pay like three, four hundred dollars more for it. Have to pick it up themselves because there was no delivery. And it's like, you know, how dumb you are. I mean, I'm glad that they paid the price, whatever, just so we didn't have to deal with it. But to the same token, it's like it was cheaper like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And you're paying more money thinking you're getting such in like you're I'm getting such a great deal. Um, it was cheaper then. Yeah. Yeah. Even when we um even when we had the TVs and wow oh, man, we had so many TVs. And then man, I don't get me wrong, I, I, I love technology, I love TVs. Um but when we got rid of them, it was the most satisfying thing that I ever witnessed in my life. Not because I don't like them. Just because of the stupid questions and everything else. And then the stupid people people try to always try to get some some stupid deals or try to price match some stupid price. Or us to try to get some crap online that we never sold in the store. And then they buy a third party and then they want us to try to get it. I, I, it was the happiest thing that, that I wouldn't have to deal with that anymore. Oh, that, and then they'd ask, well, what's the difference between this Panasonic TV and this Sony TV? Picture? No difference. Really, no difference. You can no, use. Please picture. Yeah, and it'd be like people who really don't really doesn't matter. They'd be like like eighty years old. What does does it matter to you? As long as you got a picture going, what does it matter? You why do you even care about the features? Because you're not going to use half of them anyway. Exactly. I, I, that's what I didn't get. Oh, this is ain't, this don't have what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Yeah. And even when it was a dumb TV, not a smart TV, they were like, oh, uh, uh, Walmart has the same thing for cheaper. You, you look at the Walmart equivalent to what we had, and it's like, this our TV is you know more colors, higher resolution, this, that, and the other thing. Versus the Walmart TV. Well, then go to Walmart. Go buy yeah, the. Oh, oh, Best Buy has this one, and my favorite is the the ones that almost look similar, but the i the ID or the item number was just a little bit different, and they would swear it was that item, and we have to price match them right down because that's it. Well, that's when we tell them to go take a running leap off a short pier because unless the manufacturer's model number was identical, we weren't price matching. If it's that great of a deal, then go buy it from Best Buy because the model number is different and ours has something that theirs doesn't. Well, I, I will go get it from Best Buy, but I got a Sears card. I, I want to use my Sears card here. I don't have a Best Buy card there. Then you're paying the price. That's the price. Deal with it. Okay. You know, no, you you owe me a price match. This is the same exact one. I swear, it's the same exact thing. Yeah. Well, if I showed you two S S Samsung fifty-five inch TVs, they're gonna look exactly the same. You be like, sir, the, item, the numbers don't match up. Yep. Uh, match up. Oh, it shouldn't matter. It's the same exact item. Uh, apparently not. Yep. The same thing with uh, with appliances. We didn't get it as often, but. Uh, I use the same basic thing. Oh, this looks. This Samsung looks like the one I saw at Best Buy. Then you look it up online because the model numbers are different, and ours has you know like three cycles more and and a couple other features that the other one doesn't. That that uh, whatever 
uh, you know, like Lowe's or Home Depot does, you know, is peddling. You know, ours has the features, theirs doesn't. Oh, well, you should price match it. Well, no, ours is better. <laughs> I could tell you the same thing that they have, and guess what? It's going to be the same price, maybe a little cheaper. But this one, you're getting an upgrade, so it costs more. That's the way it is. And good luck trying that with them, because they're going to tell you the same thing I am, which is to go pound salt. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not no upgrade. It's the same thing. We don't do no. It ain't no difference. Yeah. Well, when the model number is different, there's a difference. So you, you don't want to take my money? So I open a Sears car for nothing. Don't let the door <laughs> hit you on the way out. <laughs> Man, people swore they had. Uh, some kind of like leverage over us because they had a Sears card. Like we had to break, we had to break our neck and break our backs just because they had a Sears card. Well, I mean, we always try and and you know get somebody into you know yeah. w- what they want. You know, yeah, man, as I mean, best I we can. That, but they were sitting there uh, like flashing it around like it's a golden ticket to like the Willy Wonka and chocolate factory. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't you didn't win nothing. It's not. Okay, you have a Sears card. That person has a Sears card, but they're not over here like flashing into my face, tossing around like I have to like jump and like 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 I'm a um a, a bridesmaid waiting for someone to throw the flowers. Like, oh yes, yes, come on, throw it, give it to me, give it to me. No, no, it doesn't work that way. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. I, I'm not forcing you to use it. Well, I have you using. They say I got to use it in order to cut me off. Well, let it get cut off. I don't tell you, man. Like, you don't have to use it. All right, or, or, you know, if it's a Sears MasterCard, go get some gas. Yeah, or, you know, buy, you know, a, a vacuum filter or something, or a belt, or some candy, or, or something. You, you're using it, just use it. Yeah, I mean... You can say, well, how much you got to use, just use it. <laughs> yeah. and, and then just send them a check when, when the bill comes. Yeah, they just swear they have to use it for something, like, extremely big. Well, they say I got to use it, I don't need any appliances or anything, Oh. Uh, uh, so I, I don't know. I just, what kind of deal can you get me? I ain't got to replace them, but so, but if you can get me a good deal, I'll, I'll get whatever. Well, you know, if it's, I mean, the, the thing was that, you know, the best deals were generally the major holidays, you know, Labor Day, Memorial Day, um, you know, Thanksgiving, and they were all, you know, there wasn't. Any one of those sales that were better than the other, it was just the price would go down to a certain point, and that was it. Yeah. And and then, like even Labor Day, when it, that is a, an excellent time to buy, people say, "Oh, these will be cheaper on uh, Thanksgiving." <laughs> yeah. So do you thought? No, well, they were. Believe it or not, they were more expensive. A lot of stuff was more expensive on Thanksgiving. I should have bought it on Labor Day sale. Or they they, they do that. I'm going to wait till Black Friday. Well, wait then. I don't know what to tell you. I'm telling you you should buy it now because it's a great price. And then we, we, we always had a preview, a preview Black Friday week, like a week or two before Black Friday. And then... They they swear that price is gonna be different on Black Friday. But like, no, they're gonna be the same exact price. I'm gonna come get it on Black Friday. Uh, hello, it's called Preview Black Friday, so it's the same exact price is gonna be on Black Friday. It's and oh well, the promotion will be different. The promotion goes. The current promotion, the date on the sign, is through December. So no, the promotion isn't gonna be any different. To them, they think it will be just because it's Black Friday, so they got to be another dollar or two off. Yeah, and it'll put it a dollar below. It'll be uh, two ninety eight ninety nine. So guess what? No free delivery. Oh man, and I my another one of my favorites would cost me a lot of money. Well, it cost us a lot of money. Everyone that we used to work with, it cost us a lot of money. It was the layaways? Good old layaway. And we, a lot of times, we did not want to do it, but then you have managers down your throat, do it, do it, do it. Just go ahead and put it that way, and you no, know, they, they'll they'll put money on it. Just keep calling them everything. Like, calling them is going to make them pay for it. Oh, the automated like, system would hey, call man, them. Hey, man, I'll send them a recap. I really don't want to put this in that way, but 
Tell them about the layaway plan. I, I, don't want, I really don't want to do it. Do it. Go ahead. Get in the layaway. You need to get something in. Go ahead. Go. All right. Put it in. It'd be maybe like four grand with some PAs. And we'll probably make like two, maybe two, two and a quarter on it. Then next thing you know, weeks go by, cancel. We lose two and a quarter from our paycheck. Yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Put it in layaway. Just because, uh, and then, then management won't look at us. Well, did you call them? Did you? Call, yeah, I kept calling them. Left messages. Yeah, they, you call. Uh, uh, we'll call them again. See if they will see before before they uh before we take our, take it out. Yeah. No, I like losing two hundred and some odd dollars out of my paycheck. I, that's that's fine. I, I don't need to you know pay bills or eat or anything like that. And yeah, that, and you really can't blame the st- store managers per se. I mean, uh, because they're being as bad as they give it to us. You know, as well as I do, they were getting it five times worse. I mean, I, I, I've been a manager before. I understand. I understand it. I, I, I've been there, but it wasn't, I didn't have my district manager like breathing down my neck, like 24 seven. Like my district manager was a, a cool guy and he was like the only first person I worked for to know that, Every district manager is not a, a douche or a, a bitch or anything, and he he was so cool because he uh, he worked from where we started and he worked his way up, so he understand like things just don't go always as as, as planned. So he, he when when I have to email him at the end of the night to tell him like hey uh, we only got this kind of many reserves um, and we didn't get that many reserves we didn't reach the number oh he just email me back all right okay just Try again tomorrow. That's it. That's all you can do. I mean, that's, you know, and, and it, it, like I said, it is, as well, the thing was is uh, there was a couple uh, district managers that I worked for, worked with that um, were, were nice. They were great. Then there were others you just knew that. You know, they were nice to your face, but you knew they were going to tear the manager a new one over something stupid. And inevitably, that's what would happen. Then you have the district managers with the dumb ideas. This, <laughs> number one rule, if it sounds good on paper, does not mean it will work. Oh, man, I cannot remember how many stupid things we did just because the district manager wanted it done and it did nothing for the story it didn't make us any more money or anything yeah. it did nothing well my thought was if it if it doesn't put a penny in the register why are we doing it because they thought it will you know uh, if we move here they can see it uh when they walk by they get a different view that way it's like right there it's gonna make them buy it yeah it didn't work didn't work obviously it didn't work and, yeah, obviously, and like I said, with the, a thing again with the layaways, we lost so much money because of the layaways. And I understand, you know, no money down, and some people, you know, actually paid on their layaway. You know, it wasn't always bad. It just you get the some people that you know, like you know, they're they're not going to pay on it. Oh, you absolutely, can, like, yeah. And some people are like, oh, you know, don't judge, you know, a book by its cover or anything. But you get, when you spend, like a lot of people don't understand, when we are in sales and you spend time with these people, you get to, you get to learn about them, you get to learn their personalities, you get to, you know, you get to feel for them. That you can tell, you know, if they're actually going to pay, you know, on this item or if they're BSing you or, um, you know, or, or just a waste of time. Some people, you know, you you couldn't tell, but you have some that was like completely obvious. Yeah, uh, and yeah, that's and that's the thing is, is I mean, the no money down thing. It was a it, like one of those ideas sounds good on paper, but it was I just mean, I, a I, disaster. I started doing what Chris was doing, you know, ten uh, percent at least. Yeah, maybe put some. Have to put something down, you know, f- f- twenty bucks. You know. Yeah, because that money down. I mean, that money down, no money down thing was was all right. That's that's for some people it was, it worked out fine, but then you have the ones who just did it just to, no, just a what's name, just to put it in there. I mean, some some people didn't know that it was going to like hurt 
us in general that we're going to lose any money from it. And I'm not, I'm not mad at them because they, they didn't know. But then you have the ones that do know that we're on commission, and you know we're we're going to make, we're we're going to lose money from it. And they they will still do it just to be uh just to be a do uh, a, a dick about it. Yeah. And we can't tell them no. All right, because they'll just fire us and go to a manager. A manager would do it. But something I wouldn't mind putting in layaway, Nvidia. Yeah, we're switching subjects. I think. That's fine. Uh, Nvidia unveil unveils the RTX 2060 and mobile RTX GPUs at CES. And CES is going on, uh, for those that don't know, it's Consumer Electronics Show, where uh, vendors and, and all the tech industry gets together and they show and demonstrate what they are going to be coming out with in the coming year. And now they're coming. RTX real-time, what was it? Oh, real-time rendering, real-time ray tracing. Ray tracing, I don't know what the X is. Uh, but the 2060, it says the... Um, uh, is not a surprise at all. Eagerly anticipated since the $349 GPU is the least expensive RTS GPU to be released thus far. It costs about $200 less than the 2070 sibling. I mean, how many graphics cards are they going to come out with, though? I mean, I mean, when I, when I was reading the article, um, they said it's close to like the ten uh, GTX ten uh, was the new one ten eighty. Yeah, that well, that was last year's ten eighty. Yeah, well, they said it's it's close to that, but it's supposed to be. I don't think I don't know if it is or not. It's supposed to be a little bit on the cheaper side. It's supposed to be like a knockoff uh, sort of of it. Um, but I, I, I don't know if they put a price on it or not. I can't remember if, uh, when I was reading it. All right. Well, it's probably going to be about 400 bucks, but you got the, the 2060, 2070, 2080. And then the, then you have the TIs, the same thing with a TI after. And the only difference is a little bit more bump up in speed. Like if you have a, a 2060, then you have a 2060 Ti, then a 2070, a 2070 Ti, and then you have, and that's what they term Founders Editions. Those are the ones from NVIDIA. Then you have uh, Gigabyte makes their versions of it. Then EVGA makes theirs, and uh, Asus, and, uh, you know, everybody makes their own little flavor. It's basically yeah. the same card. With a different type of cooling solution on it. Pretty much. Pretty much. And they got enough graphics cards, man. Like it's again to the point you can't you can't really keep up. If you're gonna come out with a graphics card every every year, you know, what's the point of even getting the new graphics cards if you're gonna come out with one next year? It's the same thing. To me it seems like they're starting to do uh, what Apple was famous for with their iPhones. You know, we're going to drop a, a new iPhone and we're going to come out with another one next year. We're we're already up to a thousand dollars for an uh, iPhone. How much more are they going to go up? Like, how much more technology are you putting in it? Because to me, it's not a lot more difference than the last model. Well, here's the thing about Apple is their sales, and this is from. The Indian Express, uh, let's see here, let me get rid of this stuff. Yeah, iPhone, uh, Apple iPhone sales are down 20% uh, on a yearly basis in the month of November. Even as the uh, iPhone XR was the best-selling model shown, counter, showed counterpoint data. And, and what it is, is it's just the same phone. Yeah. They're running out of ideas. <laughs> Don't say that, George. Well, they are. I mean... Got some, app, got some apple overs, man. You can't, can't be saying that. <laughs> got some diehards. <laughs> you can't, can't be saying that, Costa Warrior. Droid. 
Well, Android phone, anyway. Um, and a dislike. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's that button. I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it. Uh, <laughs> I'm writing the comic section. <laughs> oh, please do. That'd be nice. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, in, uh, and I, I do get it, though, because, I mean, how much more can they put into a phone? You know, I, I mean, a phone is basically a computer in your pocket. And it does yeah. a lot. That even... me, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, um, I understand. I understand, you know, upgrading the cameras and stuff uh, because there are people that use their cameras for, like, YouTube and professional videoing and professional photos and stuff like that. that that's fine, you know, but why raise it so much? Just for you know a camera feature, that they're going to come up with the same darn thing. But you know why they do it? Because the customers are going to pay it. Oh, it, it was like every six to. It seems like every six months they come out. Maybe it's a year, but it seems like it's like every six months. Buy the iPhone twenty fifty. iPhone twenty fifty five. It's like. Yeah, but you got you got the people out here that's actually buying it, so they're going to keep doing it. And if the, if people actually like pay attention and see that it's not much really difference, and that they're pretty much getting ripped off, they they will see, and then Apple will stop. You know, they will actually probably put more effort into making something better that's actually worth the money, instead of just. Let's add this one feature, and then you know, let's raise the price, you know, two hundred more dollars, because they're going to pay for it anyway. You know, we got those loyal customers who's going to pay for it, upgrade or whatever, no matter what. And and I will, you know, I'll admit, Apple has a big following. There's there's people that act like it's uh, this. I think I said it last week. It's it's like this utopia that these things are are perfect, and it's like. They're nice, but they're not any more perfect than this. No, they're not perfect. They're I not pref- any more I don't perfect like than Apple. this. If it was perfect, I would have an Apple. And I, I don't like Apple. I, I tried it so many different times, so many different uh, items. And I'm sorry, I just don't like it. And it's I can't do what I really want to do. I can't use the full potential of an Apple because you get to the point where that's, there's some restrictions. Well, they have, like, you know, that's uh, for security. But I know that. But, like, uh, Android, like, if I want to, you know, test an app out or something like that, you know, I, I there's no restriction about it. I can go ahead and do it. Yeah, with with this phone, you can. With a with an iPhone, if it doesn't come from the uh, Apple store, you ain't getting yeah, like, it. Yeah, like, if, like say, say if a company hit me up and it was like, hey, we want you to try out this app. Then I got my little iPhone, and I'm like, okay. Then boom, security. Nope, nope, we can't do it. And I'm, hey guys, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, um, you're just gonna pay me all this money to try out your app, but now you know I can't get paid because you know my phone won't let me do it. Right. I'm sorry. But Android, you know, a company hit me up. Hey, you know, can we test out the app? Yeah, sure. You will get a little warning, whatever, and it will test the app out. And boom, everyone's happy. You just tell them, hey, yeah, uh, this is wrong with your app, and that's wrong with it. You know, just they just want feedback, and then you, you're good to go, and you're getting paid. But no. No, you can't you can't do that. What Apple? Nope, nope, nope. Yep, it's it, like I said, it's all they got it all locked down as much as they can. But then you were talking about another article was uh, Asus opens or introduces new desktop replacement mothership. Laptop. Yeah, yeah, that had me cracking up. <laughs> mothership <laughs> laptop. That is kind of funny. I mean, for them to say that it's a replacement for a desktop, that had me cracking up. This... I was looking at it. I'm <laughs> well, I was looking at the pictures. I'm like, okay, it's a replacement. I was like, all right, let me look, let me take a look. Looking at the pictures, like, um, where's any room for like any upgrades? Like, where can I put anything in this thing? You don't. I was like, so, um, because I'm thinking, okay, it might be you know a little uh something a little bulkier. Maybe they got they got little parts you can put into it. You know, little upgrades. And I'm looking and looking like, um. I think you might want to change the note, the title of no replacement for a desktop because desktop, you know, you can crack that bad boy open, put upgrades in there, you know, put new processors, do what you want. Um, 
Sorry. It, it, a laptop is not a replacement for a desktop. And especially, Asus isn't the only company at CD is introducing massive desktop replacement, replacing RTX 20 series laptops. Acer introduced a massive Predator Tritron 900, a 4K 1. 44 megahertz beast, which that is a beast, I'll admit that, yeah. with a RTX 2080 with a price tag of $399.9 to start. Nearly $4, four grand. Dollars. Yeah. Not, and I laughed at that too, man. I laughed at that price tag. That's ridiculous. I generally in laptops you can generally like upgrade the memory and the uh the memory and the uh hard drive. Yeah, but you're very limited. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's your done. I mean for four grand, man, you better be able to take that thing apart. You know, but you can't. Like I will I will no problem spending four grand on a desktop. Or putting four grand into a desktop. Because I can do what I want with it. I can customize it fully to my full potential or how much I ever want to do to it. Right. You can't do that with a, with a laptop. And for them to say it's a replacement, it's it's an understatement. Yeah. And and I, I, I read the article and they, and they was like, oh, you know, because we, we see when gamers is on their, you no, know, they have their laptop. And then, you know, they, they get an extra keyboard. And, you know, they use that keyboard instead of the laptop's keyboard. It helps them a little bit better. So we made the screen detachable. So this is going to replace your desktop now. Boom. No. <laughs> no. I, uh, well, here's the thing. And, and it, what I say it was a 17 point, 17 and a half inch display. I mean, it's a big display. I Don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a, it's a nice size display. I'm looking at four t- five TVs in front of my face that are at least 22. I mean, for a laptop, that's pretty decent. Because I had a 15, it was pretty pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Um, 17, yeah, that, that's a decent size. But is it four grand worthy? No. No. Like, are you able to even look up how much that processor is? It's, I mean, the, uh, the graphics card itself. Maybe, maybe that's where most of the money's at. Oh, well, no. It, it, it is in the whole system. It's... Uh, uh, well, let's see. What are the with specs? The i9, with the i9 processor. Well, that's the that's the Asus version. The uh, the Acer version. Yeah. As uh, blah, 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 both models have a a GeForce 20 series graphics with a Predator 900 coming with a 2080. Powering a 17 inch, and the other one's 17 and a half, which is, and this, and they're both 4K, I think. Uh, four grand. It better, it better be 4K. Well, and, and well, what that is is also the uh, 144 hertz refresh rate for the screen. Uh, and then they have a drop down model, which is uh, the Tritron 500. Which is the same display, yeah, and it's like seventeen ninety nine. I'm sorry, man. I cannot put, um, I cannot put four grand into a laptop. For one, you know, you can put a four grand into. You can build a beast, a beast of a desktop for four grand, and get a decent, a beast of a decent monitor. You can get a four K monitor. You can get a sick ass keyboard, a sick ass mouse. For all for four grand, you can do you know a lot with four grand that you can do you know you will if you put four grand into a desktop you will destroy that laptop. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, because uh, a laptop version of a desktop processor is a lot le- has a lot less capability because and it's the 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 uh, the size. And you know, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not knocking la- laptops because some people, you know, they are more accessible. You know, you can take them wherever you want, uh, and all that. You know, that's understandable. Yeah. But my point is, for them to say that it's going to replace, you know, desktops, no, that that gets under my skin because you know that it's it's no way. It's no way. 
Oh, but wait, Jonathan, but wait. It also includes an Xbox controller wireless receiver. So you can Whoa. use your Ooh. existing Xbox controllers to play PC games without needing to dig up the USB cable. Oh, man, big boys. Oh, that. oh I didn't know um, you can't do that with desktop. Um, I could swore they got new technology in the new Xbox controllers that you can link with desktop. But no, what do I know? I don't know anything. When it says PC compatible right on the box? Yeah, yeah, and the, the new Xbox One controllers are all can sync up with your desktop through Bluetooth. With never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, we they're all, right. We all we all know <laughs> that. That's okay. They're, they're right. You know, it's definitely it's definitely going to replace desktop. Well, I totally. Yeah, I guess I'm switching to a laptop now. Well, you told me about this one. Uh, GameStop was once the, what is, where is it? GameStop sale to another company could be announced by mid-February. That's pretty rough. Yeah, man, it breaks, breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. You know, they're, they're going to, they're going to another company and they're probably going to change the name again. And for it to go again, it's probably not going to last long, uh, any much longer, especially reading the article. It's saying, you know, the digital sales are up. Uh, no one's really buying hard copies anymore. Um, that's that's understandable. That's fine. But if they do decide to, like, shut GameStop down, put them out of business, um, there are some people who prefer, you know, hard copies. It's not like they're not getting sales, you know, just because, you know, some people don't want it. See, the, the problem is with, with the hard copies – and we all run it right into this problem. You know, when you're playing your game and then, you know, you want to switch your game. Yeah. Who wants to be getting up? I mean, I don't have a problem getting up. But who wants to be taking a disc out, then looking for the actual other game, popping out of the case, pop that disc in, then sit back down and you're ready to go. Instead of just popping your menu open, selecting your next game, you're good to go. Well, these are what uh, helped. SSDs. Yeah. 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 I mean, and GameStop sell other stuff. You know, they sell merchandise and everything else. But, you know, for, you know, the, I can understand that their sales might be down for, um, for their games, but there are people that still buy, you know, hard copies. There is a big following who still buys them. Well, here's the thing. Like, I bought, um, what the hell was it I bought? Uh, I went to, to Target and bought it. Uh, what the heck game was that? Uh, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Yeah. There was nothing inside there. There was nothing. What it was was you downloaded Steam, you type in this code into Steam, and then Steam loads the game onto the, your computer for you. Yeah. Well, no, no, I mean, that's just it. a waste of, of plastic and documentation that didn't exist. See, me, I... I would have got hard copies, but you know this is a thing. You know, you know if you have kids, no, no hard copies, man. Do not get hard copies, uh, especially little ones. Like I, I, I was big into hard copies, and I had kids. They got to hold up the disc, and you know I'm out of sixty bucks. Well, like DVD, uh, Blu-rays though. You know, DVDs, they're if you scratch, if you scratch a DVD, as long as you do it horizontally, it's fine. But if you do it in a circle, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I bought the last, the last game I had that was an actual disc form was uh, when I was my manager at GameStop, and we had uh, the midnight release for. Um, what was it? Um, I don't know. I'm, what I'm, was it? I'm saying. I'm saying. Embrace a no. Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> right. That's a, it's a movie. Yeah. Um. Well, whatever. It was X Y Z. The, the game. Batman Arkham Arkham Knight. Okay. Movie, the new Batman game. I bought that and I popped it in, playing it. Then next day come, I go to work. Then come home and it's the disc is on my floor. Oh, on its face. 
Ooh. And I pick it up and I put it up to the ceiling. You can see stars. Oh, no. I was like, oh, man. Good thing I, ha- I got a, a protection on it, but I, I got that. I took, I took, got my money. I got another one, then I, I just got my money back, and then I just digitally downloaded it. And ever since then, I had no issues with, with uh, that again because I, my, my kids would get to it now have animals that probably chew, chew it up. And, I mean, it, it's both ways. You have people who, who still you know want the disc. You have people... That you know, go digitally for certain reasons. I have my right, like I said, I got kids. I, I, my reason I go digitally. Some people don't want to keep switching the disc out, that's their reason they do it. But you know, for them to take the whole entire you know franchise, just scrap it just because their um, their actual sales are down, you know, that's 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 not fair. Yeah, well, here's the thing is, uh, you know, the, every company wants to make the most bang for their buck, like if they can save. Two dollars by not having to, you know, put it, make it, you know, publish it on a Blu-ray, and then come up with the the graphics and the artwork for a case, and then have somebody put in a case. If that saves them two, three bucks, yeah, but well, we'll two, put twenty people out of a job. We don't care. I I remember games that for the longest time, man. Like they've been around. Uh, and not saying these places can't go away because, like, like your people are seeing Toys R Us. You know, I've been around for the longest time. I grew up with them too, and now they're they're gone. And I don't want to see that with GameStop at all. I really don't. Well, it's it's just like this. I mean, yeah, I bought this. I ordered, you know, from Amazon. It, it actually comes from uh, Micro Center, which is um, where's Micro Center? It's a, like in it's about an hour from here. Is the closest micro center, but yeah. uh, thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. So I guess we're giving them a free plug. But anyway, and whether it would, you know, by the time I, you know, spend twenty dollars in gas to get this for thirty bucks, I'm up to fifty. But I can go online to Amazon, order it, pay thirty bucks plus tax. Yeah. 32 whatever 3201 with tax and it shipped to my house two days for free i mean yeah that's that's um, um we, we all have a reason we order online you know mainly me is not to deal with the stu- stupidity of, of people and not that i don't i don't not that i don't like people i enjoy being around people but lately it's been more and more uh stupid ones out there and oh you uh ha <laughs> ha there are people <laughs> pounding on the door, trying to open the door at at, at Sears. Like, we're closed. Really? Yeah. Like, wow. it's a sign up on the door that says, closed. All right. But, oh, we see people in there. Maybe we can we can buy something. There's nothing to buy now. They want to buy the dirt. You want to buy the tile? Yeah, yeah. one buy what you're sweeping up. Oh, well... Uh, you know, we kept one of the vacuum cleaners. Uh, <laughs> we kept uh, Ron's vacuum cleaner. You know what I'm talking about. The yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. the one vacuum cleaner. I, I, I forget what it yeah, is. Yeah, the, the Dyson. Yeah, the Dyson. We kept that behind. We had three people. Uh, I want to buy that. How much do I sell it for? We need it. We're using it. We'll, we're going to abuse this thing until the very end. You think you're going to want it then? Yep, yep, we'll still take it. As long as we get it for a good price. No, we just... Uh, two dollars, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it off you for, for two, three dollars. We'll, we'll just sell it to one of us for two, three dollars. You know. Oh, but no, we did abuse that thing. That poor thing. Because uh, one thing about the Dysons, they're nice. And they do do an v- excellent job. And yeah. they have a lot of suction. They really yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. No one, no one's saying they're they're bad. But where where they messed up is the 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 part that rides on the carpet. Okay, it has a slot in the back, and that's where the suction goes up and in. Well, it's the full width of the of the path. You know, it's like twelve inches yeah. wide. Well, the hole goes through is about that big round. 
And so you get some stuff that builds up in there, and then it just clogs. Yeah, yeah, and then um, you it, you was you could uh, uh, I guess like change change it around, but it was so difficult to do. Oh, it was I? I had to clean that. I think I cleaned that thing out because it got clogged right in the front of the nozzle, like daily, at least once or twice daily. And yeah, there were certain certain modes you could put in, but like you 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 have to like take it all the way apart to like get it to like that. And I'm like, Whoa. this is very um, cumbersome. This is mine. It's it's very complicated. Yeah. When you when you have the sharks and you want to put it in a certain mode, it's literally probably like two seconds. Push a button here, pull it up there, put it back there. Boom, you're done. Yeah, I, I mean it. Like I said, they they do make it. They make a good product, but to the same token, it's like you made that that hole too small for the suction to be able to pull anything. But I mean, you get a few hairs in there, and it just it all backs up and it clogs, and it's and it's horrible to have to clean out. It's just a big pain in the butt. But I like I said, it did an excellent job. I could not fault it for how good it did. But yeah. I, swear, I swear it pulled it pull if I, it ran it up the wall it pulled the paint off the wall. Yeah, I mean, no one said it didn't do a good job, but their their design is very poor. Oh, it was a pain in the butt. But I mean, I understand when it first came out. It's oh, okay, you can roll it and all that. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, five hundred dollars. For then, a... like, you try to if you try to get under your couch, forget about it. Well, here is the thing. What you know, typically vacuum cleaners are like two, three hundred dollars. Dyson was the only one that was like five hundred dollar range. Yeah, and then if you had like a low, uh, a low table, a low coffee table, you couldn't get under that bad boy either. That ball was going to stop that. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and then they came out with uh, now they have all the handhelds that are like battery operated, and it's like you know that's a good like. Secondary yeah. vacuum, but as far as a main vacuum, no. I mean, the handheld ones, I think they're perfect for uh, college kids, dorm rooms. They're perfect for. Right. But, I mean, if you have, like like you, you know, a family yeah. with two kids running around, and you have carpet. Well, two kids and uh, two animals. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, and you and you have carpet, but that's the, yeah, that, the point that, is yeah, you I'll, have carpet though it'll too. It'll take me forever if I had a handheld. Yeah, and it's only good for about twenty minutes, and then you got to put it back on the charger. Yeah, or, or the cup is get, the cup is full. Yeah, because the I mean, it, the, the the Dyson one does have a pretty big chamber, but yeah. there's two models of it. One has a pretty big chamber. One has a, a very very small chamber. Yeah. But if you if you you know it, it was great for dorm rooms or if you had like a studio apartment, then you know by all means yeah. you know, get get one of the handhelds. Right. You don't have to spend the, the extra money on a full size. But it got to the point where the handhelds were pretty much almost the same exact money as a full vacuum. If anything, they were more. So you you better off just getting a full vacuum just because it was light and you can charge it. If you don't plug <laughs> that thing in. And then, you know, you can get more in there and you can get everything a lot better. You're better off to have a cord, plug it in, go for two hours doing whatever you're doing and move on with your life. You know, I mean, there people come up with these ideas that is more convenient for this item or that item. You know, yeah, to, to certain people it is, but for the majority of people it's not. No. Uh, it's only a handful of people it's probably going to be convenient to. Then you have, you know, people that don't mind, you know, taking a vacuum up and down the steps or who don't mind moving a vacuum from here to there. Well, the, the question I know I usually got asked, you know, in vacuum cleaners was, will this light feather lightweight one do as well as this one that weighs 10 pounds more? Well, no, because the one that 10 pounds more is going to push down on the carpet. It's going to spread yeah, out. It has that weight. Right, has the weights going to get deeper down in? It's going with the rotating brush. It's going to separate the uh, fibers more, and it's going to be able to get yeah. I mean, for, down in. for for low carpets, perfect. Yeah, for low carpets, and if you're if there's low carpet and you're like elderly, you don't want to be moving that thing around a lot. Then then it's great. But if you have like thick carpets, like most people do, 
Man, that, yeah, you ain't going. You, you'll be, be all day vacuuming. Well, it is about time. We've been at it by about uh, an hour and 15 minutes. And it's, I know, I know, guys, the stream has been a little down, you know. I liked it. You know, I enjoyed it. Um, some of us, you know, like George, he's been at work all day. He usually don't work on Thursdays, but I, got to clean up a huge store, and he, he's a little tired. So they, I know he's not right, excited yeah. as, as he is. But, you know, tomorrow's the last day, so next week he'll be a little bit more excited. Uh, I most likely will be a little bit more excited because I'm getting new equipment uh, almost every week to, to help this thing go a little bit better. Um, but um, we, we definitely always enjoy it, no matter how uh, what we're going through. We're still going to upload, and we're still going to try to keep it interesting. So... Thank you guys if, uh, if you for watching or if you're going to watch it later. Thank you. We appreciate you guys. So Get liked. Get subscribed to my channel that you're and watching this on. And to J.FBA. Uh, you can subscribe to mine. Uh, pretty sure George put a link in the description after you know um, this goes live on YouTube. You know It's live now, but when it goes, we can actually do stuff to it. He's probably going to put my link down there. But if not, just look up J.FBA. You should be able to find me. It's not hard to find. Uh, you'll definitely see these episodes on there. So, uh, you know. and follow us on what is it? Twitch, Twitch and Twitter. Yeah, Twitch. Yeah, Twitch and Twitter. And we will see you guys the same time next week. And this time, I won't be late again. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Good night. All right. Stopping the stream.